Hey, good morning everybody. Richie Plemons with Plemons Lawn and Landscape. I hope everybody in Lawn Care Nation and YouTube are doing well today. Uh, we're going to go ahead uh, with this with this customer here as one of my mowing customers and we're going to install a dry creek bed for them today. They, uh, they're they having some drainage issues from their pool. When they drain it, it flows onto the neighbor's property and so we're going to try to get rid of that to uh, to, to solve that issue from getting over on the neighbor. The neighbor's uh, you know, a little unhappy about it and so we're gonna get it taken care of for them and uh, basically just put a, just a, a nice dry creek bed in so when they they drain the pool, you know, it'll uh, flow into a little wooded area and away from uh, the neighbor's land so, and let it just kind of soak up into the ground there. Uh, that's about their only choice that they have currently. Uh, they're planning to sell the property so they're just wanting something just to fix it. Simple, nothing nothing too major, just, just an easy fix is what they want just to be able to sell the property so that's what we're going to do for them. Um, and get that done today. Um, it's rained here for three straight days. I mean, there's just there's just no way we can mow. It's just so wet. Uh, I did pick up, uh, or I did have something new delivered to me this morning. Uh, it's a it's a new it's another mower. So uh, you guys will probably see that in upcoming uh, videos. And uh, it's actually a push mower. I mean, it's not a zero turn or walk behind, but I mean, it's just a push mower. But uh, uh, I'm pretty excited to try this thing out. I, I wear push mowers out. I mean, I've tried the Toro Time Master. I've gone through Y Bravo. I've gone through Hondas. I mean, I just, I wear them out. I mean, I use them a lot and uh, uh, and it's not that the engines wear out or the decks wear out, it's it's the transmissions wear out on them. That's the issues I'm having, a lot of transmission issues out of every mower I've used. Uh, it, it has not mattered so far, so we're going to try another one um, and see what we can do with it. I'm pretty excited to try it out. So, anyway guys, we're going to get started here. Um, we'll probably be here most of the day uh, doing this, so we're going to get it started and uh, start getting the uh, the creek bed put in. So let's get with it. Here's what we've got. We've got, uh, we're getting this dug out here. Pool drains right back over here. And then it just kind of washes out through here and then goes over onto the neighbor's property. So the cure for this is we're gonna dig this out, which you can see we've already started. It goes back up, uh, goes right back up in the back in there and then kind of fans out into an open area where it can kind of disperse and, and leach into the ground because there's not gonna be a whole lot coming out. You know, so we just kind of want to get it to where it'll leach out into the ground and uh, be out of the uh, neighbor's property there. So, but uh, once we get it dug out, then we'll come back with the geofence or geofencing, the uh, geo uh, fabric, basically just a uh, a weed barrier fabric that's going to let water seep through and uh, you know and keep the weeds out. So, and then we'll put the uh, Probably going to go with four to uh, six inch uh, creek rock in it. That would probably be the uh, the best thing to put in. It'll be the four to six inch creek rock. So we're going to put that in next. And then, as you can tell, it's a pretty good sized trench there. If you guys can see it in the camera there, but it goes back up into those bushes there and then comes right down through here. And then just follows right up through there to the uh, edge of the pool. So. Let's go ahead and get some more put down or some more dug out here and uh, get you a little bit of video and uh, we'll see you guys shortly. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you. Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue. May change, but in a cycle that I can't lose. Each painful but delightful to live through.
just like your mind Like the sun gives into the moon into the night Time continues marching, it slowly crawls With each new one starting, I recall So we got the uh, weed fabric down uh, before we put the rock in. Took uh, landscape uh, sod stakes to stake it down with. So we got that stake down. So now we just gotta wait on the rock. Uh, I've called a couple times today. It looks like they're not gonna be able to get it to me today. So it's gonna be two days before they can get here now. Um, all the rain's got the yards backed up with uh, just muddy messes. And so they said it would just probably be better to do it in a couple days. but. I can't put a machine on the lawn anyway, so just simply because it's so wet. So, but uh, yeah, we've got that put down and uh, we're gonna finish up here, clean up and uh, call it a day on this project, come back in a couple days, put the rock in and uh, we should be good to go here. So, but anyway, let's get at it and get cleaned up and uh, get finished up here.
all right what's going on everybody uh so we're on day two of the drainage ditch install that we were doing um i kind of made a little mistake uh it's what cutting corners will get you um usually when you estimate for rock or mulch you want to add a little bit in case you come up a little short or a little you know areas well you know it it we all do it sooner or later. It's pouring rain. I, I mean, I am absolutely soaking wet. I mean, there's not a dry piece of clothing on me and, you know, pouring the rain. So I was like, I went with what I estimated it would take, the exact amount. And I said, let's just get that amount. That way we get it done. We get out of here. We don't have a bunch of extra that we're trying to move and find places for because we're going to be soaking wet all day. Yeah, so now I gotta go get more. <laughs> so I come up uh, a total of about seven feet short. So now I've gotta go get a small amount of uh, rock to finish up this job. I mean, it's no big deal. It's just a couple miles up the road, but uh, you know, it's just something extra I've gotta do you know when i could have had it here and had the job done so you know we all make mistakes i made one today and so hey live from it learn from it and and move on so we're gonna go get the rock picked up now and come back and finish the job that uh, we should have went ahead and ordered the right amount the first time so we're not all perfect and uh, even the best companies make mistakes i mean we've all done it so but anyway so let's go get more rock and get this stuff put in so i can go home and, and, and dry up That wraps up another one there as you can see it uh kind of see it down through there that's where the water was coming out of the pool said it has rained on us all day long i mean we have absolutely just soaking wet but uh, we got it finished up uh took us we spent uh, about four hours on it today putting in a little over six tons of creek rock so we got a lot of rock in there the the trench actually or the creek itself is actually 57 57 feet long by four and a half feet wide so i mean it's a uh, it was all hand dug we couldn't get a machine in there just so wet so there was no machinery able to be used on it everything had to be hand dug uh, all the rock once again pouring rain today we dug the trench out tuesday and uh, put the rock in today and still it poured rain today still couldn't get a machine in there so uh, we had to move uh, right around six tons is about where we were sitting at uh, give or take two or three hundred pounds so uh, i had to go back and get a little bit more earlier which you guys saw so i uh, went back and got it and uh, we got the rock put in but uh, like i said everything had to be done by hand so a lot of work but uh, we get it finished up um, tomorrow uh, if it dries out enough we'll be mowing we don't know yet we'll just have to see what uh, the rest of the day and into the night holds as far as the weather goes and then um, we'll know a little bit more as, uh, in the morning. So, But anyway, that's, uh, that's our dry creek bed uh, install for the year. <laughs> I seem to get one of those a year. So that's the uh, uh, first one this year. I done one last year, which was a non-working dry creek bed. This is actually a functioning drainage creek bed. So it, this is actually functioning. So this is my very first one I've ever done that's actually functioning to drain. So. Let's keep our fingers crossed i've done something right didn't screw something else up right <laughs> so but uh, we'll see uh, when it was raining the water was flowing down it just like it was supposed to it was going down to the end where we had it uh, set up to kind of disperse out and it was it was all leaching down into the ground so so far so good so but uh, anyway that's the end of today's video make sure you like subscribe check us out on facebook and instagram we'll see you guys in the next video